Hi, my name's Mike, and this is Cooper from Chester, UK. You're watching Trooper Josh Vlogs on YouTube. Good morning everybody. How you doing? Got us a load of concrete today. Bringing us back up to Manitoba. Picked it up in Minnesota here. Yesterday was a crazy day again. And by crazy I mean rushed. Super rushed. Go, 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 go is the name of the game. I think that's how most days are going to be on regional. Give you a look at this here. So it's uh nine foot four wide approximately so it's almost six inches over on each side we've got our permits with us of course over dimension i think it's a pretty good looking load i had to move the fifth wheel back just a little bit i moved it to the center of the rear axles now you do that to put more weight on your steers because you got a big hood your steers are further forward sometimes you need to move the fifth wheel forward to get the weight there but on this load, this corner here would have hit my head a crack. And I'm glad I noticed that before it actually happened. But I saw that and I'm like, uh-oh. So I checked it out and it, no kidding, I had to move it back. But we're ready to get trucking. Let's go. We're getting home today. Right, Diesel? Say hello to the new vlog for today. It is still chaos in here and it's making my anxiety and my, my head just spin. Because I'm, I'm still trying to find spots for everything, where everything works the best, right? I found out I have a nice editing station in the sleeper here. Come check this out. Come with me. Come with me to my abode. Hello, Diesel. Got this nice little table set up right in here so I can pull the computer out, edit my videos here, and then once I'm done, I put it in here, I can strap it in so it doesn't go anywhere. And I can go down the road while this video is either rendering or uploading perfect little office space here and that just folds up in there like that I can even close it up right now I've got my folder underneath here uh, I can't put my laptop right down on this carpet because I don't want it to overheat but I can also take this carpet out you see that and then it's on a hard surface and that's probably what I'll do so that I don't have to worry about my uh, laptop overheating because it gets pretty hot while it's rendering videos but even though I'm finding spots for everything I still don't have it organized yet. Like I got all this over here, I got everything out here. It's it's all over the place and everything needs its spot and it'll get there, it'll get there. But I might have to spend some time. Uh, I'm gonna be home for the weekend now and I might just go to the shop and just spend some time like just sitting in here, figuring out, okay, where's the best spot for this? Where is the best spot for this? Do I need this in the truck? Can I get by without taking this with me? Because I, I need as little as possible with me, but I need everything I need with me. So I gotta figure out, what do I need? Do I need a weasel with me? Absolutely. Gotta leave room for the weasel. Lord Jesus. So as time goes on, everything will have its spot. I, I just have the garbage can down here right now. I've got this water bottle, it's the water bottle there. I don't have a fridge in here yet, so I have to go and buy a powered cooler, but I have to make sure it can fit underneath the sleeper, or underneath the bed. I got a pen on the ground for no reason. I got like Diesel's food down here. Very little room in here and that's okay. That's, that's what we signed up for. We gotta figure out everything needs its spot and then I can't fill this place up with junk. It's gotta stay organized and then I'll be a happy trucker. Oh, right. One second, get myself comfortable here. Okay. This whole trip has been working late hours and waking up late. I think maybe that's what's bothering me as well. Lights, auxiliary. Okay. Let's go. Whew, see some fresh air in here.
we're gonna go to the Flying J in uh, Alexandria, fuel up and grab a coffee there. It's gonna be my first fuel up, other than, you know, the one when I first got the truck. This will be the first one where I can see what my fuel economy has been. I feel like my mind is in chaos when things aren't properly organized in my truck. Oh, you're turning this way, okay. And you know, the best remedy for a spinning mind or like when you're feeling kind of like out of control or whatever, at least for me, when I'm feeling anxious, the best thing I can do is get out there on the highway and do some trucking. Beautiful highway there just waiting for us. Oh, I thought this guy had a signal on. I, guess, I thought he was turning left, but I guess he's not gonna turn that way, go the wrong way down the interstate. Look at this sign here. Trucks hauling. I wonder what they're hauling. This one's hauling concrete. That's a beautiful feeling, right there. Pilot, exit 100, we're in Alexandria, Minnesota. In 200 meters, turn left on MN 27. Gonna grab ourselves some fuel and calculate what our fuel economy has been. It's not gonna be the most fantastic because we had a heavy load of lumber coming down to the States here. And now we've got a heavy load of concrete going back to Canada. So I am very curious to see what this truck is doing for fuel economy. The previous owner uh, was averaging around 6.5 miles per US gallon. So if I can get around that, uh, I think that'd be pretty good. For a truck like this, that's pretty good. Diesel fuel here in Alexandria is 552 US per gallon. 545 for us. I don't know, it keeps changing up there. I don't know what that is in liters. I mean, one US gallon is about 3.78 liters. Don't drag your trailer through the ditch there, bud. Ah, oh, he's got it. He's got it. I <laughs> made that guy nervous in his Escalade. <laughs> Sees this big nose coming closer and closer to him. Lots of parking now at this time of day. Yikes. This is why you want to start earlier and end earlier. Then you have lots of parking available when you're done your day. What's this guy doing here? 
You have to pick a lane, buddy. You can't wait back here. I'm gonna go past you. All right, so this wasn't actually that bad. I averaged, in US gallons, averaged 6.3 miles per gallon, pulling about 40,000 pounds of lumber down to the US here, and then about 45,000 pounds or whatever this is of concrete. 6.3, not bad, not bad. And I wasn't exactly taking her easy. I've been enjoying the, the truck a little bit. I like the pipes a little bit. So I haven't, I can, I can do better than that yet. I can do better, so it's a good start. So I keep track of all of the stuff in an app called Fulio. It's uh, old blue. It tells me how much it costs. I had to do all the conversions myself because I'm keeping track in Canadian dollars and in liters because I'm Canadian. So I convert it all from here. So today, uh, or from my last fuel up, that first fuel up that I, that I filmed a while back, we traveled 1,570 kilometers. That's just under 1,000 miles. We filled up today for 155 gallons, which was 586.465 liters. Cost us 845 US dollars, no, 846.18 USD. Converted into Canadian for Canadian exchange rate today, it cost us $1,075.10. And that gave us a fuel economy rate of uh, where is it here? 30, uh, where is it? 37.35 liters per 100 kilometers or 6.3 miles per gallon US. So I keep track of it all in this app, like I was telling you here on the mileage log. This is very easy if you just want to do it really quick. It's just da, 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 you'll punch it in and it, it does all the calculations for you. It's really cool. And then I also record it in this book here so that I have a paper record as well, just in case my phone dies out on me or something. You never know, technology. Technology is handy, it's very useful, makes things a lot easier, but you can't trust it. I wanted to show you on this load. Uh, last time I hauled this load, remember I was corrected when I tied this down the first time. The first time I had my chain strapped to the trailer here, right? And uh, that defeats the purpose of having the rocker arm up here. This rocker arm allows the trailer to flex, but the concrete to remain rigid because concrete is not supposed to flex. Who knew? I didn't break it or anything, nothing broke uh, last time, it was fine. I had just tied it down and they caught me and said, uh, hey, by the way, uh, <laughs> not supposed to tie it to the trailer, so we'll still allow the trailer to flex because these are aluminum trailers, right? So uh, this time I remembered, I've got three chains up front here, all tight. Two binders on this side, two binders on that side, all have the lock on them. Uh, they're all going through the eye holes here, through these loops here, right? And this whole thing sways like a teeter-totter. Kind of <laughs> makes me a little nervous sometimes looking in my mirror and seeing the seeing the trailer move and the, the load's just sitting there still. And you can see this thing moving around, but that's designed for that. That's supposed to be like that. So I've got those three chains up there. I've got four chains back here for a total of seven chains. Each chain is rated at 6,400 pounds. These all got the locks on here as well. This chain here, I guess it's an eighth chain. That's just holding these in place. We call these bunks or risers, either one. We got one, two, three, four. Of course, we've got the uh, oversized load sign on the back here, clearly visible. Got the flags. And we got the beautiful KW at the front there. The showcase of this whole unit. And this trailer is actually a little nicer than the last one, right? But, yeah, it's not my trailer, <laughs> company trailer. They don't want to make it shiny and take care of their equipment. That's fine. Well, they take care of it. Let's word that differently. They don't want to keep it shiny. Because let's be honest, shiny things don't make you money. They cost you money. A lot of money. <laughs> a lot of money. <laughs> but it sure is fun rolling down the highway with it. Worth it. Worth it. Look at that baby I'm still in that honeymoon phase with it you know I just I pull off pull off to the side here like this and I just stare at it there's diesel all proud on his throne there's a thumbnail that's a, that'd be a good thumbnail right there how about that Let's save that one
Okay, I'm not gonna lock this guy in the left lane. I'm gonna slow down and let him in front of me. Come on, buddy. Come on over. Merging onto I-94, sorry, off of I-94 onto I-29 northbound. This is gonna take us back home up to Canada. Heads up guys, Old Blue's coming on. Make way, I have Lord Diesel with me. That usually works. It's like parting the Red Sea, right Diesel? All I have to do is say, hey, it's Lord Diesel, and everyone just moves out of the way. Right? Yeah, you wish, man, that'd be nice. I mean, I'm a popular guy, but I'm not that popular, man. No one knows me. Not that many people know me. Diesel, the whole world knows you. Someone in Scotland bought you land. Man. You're way, pop way more popular than me. People don't watch this channel for me. They watch it for you. People don't care about me. I'm, I'm replaceable. You're not replaceable, Diesel. Like usual, this day has dragged on a lot longer than I thought it would. Well, we're here at the Canadian border anyway. All my paperwork is ready. They should be expecting me. Should be getting back to the yard around 9 o'clock. I was hoping to be back around like 4 o'clock, but... Everything takes long. Nothing's quick in trucking. There's a US side over there. So yeah, there's three lanes here. The right lane is for fast or express only, but it's never really open. You see the red light over there, and it says it's closed at the window. Looks like they have two windows open today, though. Let's bring her home. Just about done. It's gonna take me a while to fully get used to this transmission and this engine. It's very different from the Peterbilt that I drove. I mean, they're both Cummins engines. This is a Cummins engine as well, but uh, it's a different kind of Cummins. A lot bigger. Turn my Jake brakes off here because there's a residential property right here, right in the middle of this industrial district. And I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be too happy with me singing my pipes past his house at this time. Might have kids sleeping. Though a lot of guys do it anyways. <laughs> I try to be considerate, okay? I try. But at the same time, I really like to hear the pipes sing. So it's a healthy balance, I think. Got to try to find that healthy balance anyway. So I stop in here at the office, go inside, drop off my paperwork, grab my equipment off the load. That's mine, I paid for it. And then we'll book it home. Then empty out the truck and bring all my laundry home. Uh, it's gonna be a little while yet. Diesel, you're gonna detail the truck for me, right? You have arrived at your destination on huh? the right side. All right. That was a good trip. We'll do another one next week, hey, Diesel? Now to find parking. It's Friday night. Everybody got here before me. Where 
am I going to put this bad boy? It's got to be in the loaded lineup on the concrete, or I got to get dolly pads and put it in the empty lineup. I don't like doing that though, but it is what it is. Ah, there's not really a lot of room anywhere. There's one spot there in the empty lineup. Shoot. That's the only spot in the yard. Oh no, I can't even fit in there. Ah man, everyone's parked crooked. Where am I gonna park this thing? I gotta just put it out in the middle of the yard. Oh, oh, I think I see an open spot right over there beside the other double T. Not the first one, the other one. There's another spot beside it. Oh yeah on the concrete what i mean by that is the landing gear has got to be on the concrete a little concrete strip there yeah i'm gonna go right in beside this guy <laughs> yes very good watch this long hood eh, don't take anything out I'll back her in there Boy, this is gonna be an interesting uh, spot to get into. Gonna be a little bit blindside here. You know what? I'm gonna have to come at this a little differently. Hmm. Okay. It's right over there. It's gonna be slightly blindside. We're gonna do our best. What does that mean when we're gonna do our best? We're gonna get her done. I'll get her in there. Might have to wiggle a little bit, but hey, it's Friday. Little wiggle wiggle on a Friday is okay. I don't even know what that means. Uh, I don't know what that means. <sighs> Lots of room on this side. Okay. I'm gonna have to pretty much go straight back from here because this trailer's here. And what are you doing so far out here, my friend? Look at all that space behind you. Wag my finger at you. How are we doing on this side? Oh yeah, see, I didn't even have to get out and check. I had it. See? Perfect, I had it. But it's always best to get out and look. Just in case. Oh, you're out of service, are you? Is that why you think you're so special? Huh? Got my eye on you, 507. We're good, dude. We're good. I'm just gonna go back without touching my hood on 507 here. I want to bring my hood right in beside it. Okay. Okay. Yeesh, I'm getting close to this one back here too. Come on. Woo! There was a reason no one wanted to park here. But Trucker Josh showed you all it can be done. With a little bit of patience, a little bit of skill, and some luck. I don't want to touch this trailer here now. Thanks. Up right beside me here, don't touch my stacks. How's that? How's that? This is trucking, ladies and gentlemen. A lot of getting in and getting out. Looks like I nailed it. On the concrete. Okay. I wanna get out of here.
I've decided the perfect spot for diesel steps right in the cubby hole. It does take a cubby hole away from me for storage, but uh, you know, it's pretty important. I want that to last. It saves his back and his legs and joints from jumping out. It fits beautiful. bottom three this time dude just told him we're trying to save your back and everything diesel would you like to go home and go see mom and chevy yeah one second i just gotta let one go here first one second i'm just gonna do it here now you don't have to do it at home one second i am very excited though very excited one second i'll find a good spot oh. the mosquitoes are out though we knew they were going to be bad this year with all the water we had this spring oh the mosquitoes are just loving it the long grass right here. Diesel, come on now. You're done. I saw your... He's not doing anything. He's just sitting there sniffing stuff. Diesel, come here. You better not be eating anything. Diesel, come. Let's go home. Come on. Come on, I want to go home, man. Still got to clean out the truck. One second, one second. I've been in the truck all day. Just let me enjoy this. One second. I'm an old man. I'm an old. Take my time. Come on, Diesel. Lord Diesel, let's go see mom. Come on, let's go out this way. Hey, I'm going this way. Come, come. There he is. Come on. Looks like it's about to rain. I can feel a few drops on my face already. Look at that. Yikes. Diesel, let's go to the truck. Come on. Come on, buddy. I know. You can walk more at home. I just want to get out of here. This truck's all dusty now. Man, I have to clean it.